okay, this is my workflow to get 3D scan store models into Character Creator. 3D scan store is pretty awesome, so uh, check it out. Here's an example of one of the characters. So, the one I've chosen is this old lady. She should look pretty cool. So let's go. Let's start a new project. First of all, I need to get some um, data from the ZBrush file. So we'll load that tool. This will take a moment. It's very high res. All right, I'm just gonna delete everything but the head. I'm going to level seven's too high to to work with, so I'll drop it to level six. This will be my high res, and we'll use these models later. I'll export it as an FBX and just call it high res. Uh, those files should be fine. And yeah, this will take a minute. All right, that's done now. We also need a lower res. So level four will be fine. This is for character creator. So let's call that low res. This won't take as long. All right. Let's delete that. Just gonna put these in an appropriate folder. Now, grab the low res, bring it in, just bring it in as a prop. It's gonna be really small. Lock the scale, just bring it up to 10,000, and that should be correct. Now let's get the texture. Just gonna copy it. and bring that into Photoshop. Typically they need a bit of a cleanup. Um, usually they have eyebrows. Uh, she doesn't, which is great. Just looking for anything else. It looks pretty good. They always come in pretty yellow, but we'll fix that later. You'll see there'll be an issue when it joins the body. There doesn't seem to be any issues, so luckily. Otherwise, if there was, I would, let's say she had uh, thick eyebrows like a lot of them do. I'd uh, go around the eyebrows. I'll just get rid of some hairs, I guess. Content aware feel. Okay, and that'll get rid of them. Alright, we will save it as. I'm going to be using something else later. I'm going to steal the PNG from Character Creator, so whatever I name it, I'll just delete it later. But this can go into base color. Uh, this is an 8K image so I want that so when I transfer I have the most amount of um, pixels even though I will just bring it down to 4k now that's selected let's get a mesh 
and start head generation. Okay. Keep it aligned like this and do an auto detection. But we actually want 32. All right. There's plenty of tutorials on reillusion to get these lined up correctly, so I'll fast forward this. Okay, that should be good. She is she has got weird proportions, so we'll see how this goes. We'll go to head gen. Interesting. Okay, pretty good. Choose the whole head, go to refine mesh. So here, this is pretty straightforward. There's plenty of tutorials on reillusion, and it's pretty easy, so you may as well take your time. But uh, basically the project brush is what you'll start with, well, what I start with. One issue you do face is the necks, uh, especially with elder people, because they do tend to have a hump. Um, so you got to find that balance of how much of that do you want to keep versus how much you just use the character creator mesh anatomy. In this one, her, you know, her sh neck muscles are quite large so I wouldn't even bother trying to get them see if I go like this it's 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 not gonna match up um, too well so I'm gonna keep it how it is and just try just get this neck in here I love this skin detail here so I'll try and get some of that it's about as much as it will let me. Ears are a little tricky too. I like to just project as much as I can. Don't worry about the topology for now. Um, I want some of that earlobe. So you get it roughly how you want. Just project again. And then you gotta find a balance. So I'll clone it back, but with a real low intensity. You kinda get a happy medium. Could even just smooth it out a bit. I think that's pretty cool. Let's make sure the other is all good. That should be fine. Alright, the eyes are probably the trickiest, but there is a simple way. I mean, 
easier way. I turn it to the side, turn this right down and the intensity pretty low. I find having it to the side with conform meshes the best way. You can just drag it to the edge like that. The corners of the eyes are sometimes tricky. All right, this tear duct is always tricky. So to start off, I turn off conform to mesh. I find these inner points and just, just drag them out. Like that, just so we can see them, and then, and then drag them out this way. And then drag them forward. And once they're kind of in place, then turn conform to source mesh back on. And yeah, they're really weird sometimes. Like that, like that. This one's hidden. Okay, that one's acting weird. So let's turn that back off for a second. I basically just want it to be about out there. Very strange. I think that'll be good enough. Let's do one last little project. Maybe a slight smooth because of that weird topology right there. Hmm. Okay, I see. She has very indented eyelids. And lastly, turn off symmetry, because not both eyes are the same. And that is pretty good. Yeah, like I said, she's probably one of the tougher ones just because of her uh, features. Probably smooth out this neck a bit actually. Let's just have a look at this.
Uh, we got an issue here. These issues I've actually never run into before with the nose, so it's kind of interesting. Alright, so yep, yeah, that's the most amount of work I've had to do out of any of the heads. But I think it looks pretty good, so it should be fine. Next thing, you want to save this out because it'll give you a source head and the new refined head. And again, it's temporary, so I'm just going to just chuck in a new folder for now. And this will take a minute to. Uh, now that's done. We can go attach body, female, no mask. In this case, I'm just, I'm using my 8K texture to bake it down to a 4K texture on the new UVs. The normal will be coming from the low res mesh, but we're gonna create our own. All right. Not too bad. Sometimes you get quite odd um, shoulder muscles. Still a little strange, so we'll be able to slightly fix it, but sometimes it's a lot worse. I think the neck came out pretty good. We'll just do a quick wrinkle uh, face test. And then we'll start fixing some things. So you'll start seeing some texture issues. Um, pretty typical. All in all, she's pretty good though. A bit better than I expected. You can see here her stretched eyelash textures. So, and this is what it gave us when we exported the head. The only thing we need is the source mesh and the refine mesh. So we'll chuck them here. Um, let's grab that head texture. Also you'll see these are only 2K which is probably fine because it's only roughness in AO, but I like them to be 4K, so just real quickly, I'll, I'll fix that. I just go into this skin um, tab, switch it to 4K, update so it goes over everything, and then deactivate it. So everything takes a while exporting things and everything so you just got to be patient um now let's grab these textures we'll save that which is correct and um female 24 base color I'll also grab the roughness in AO while we're here. And we will start to clean up. 
uh, the texture. This is pretty straightforward. It's the same as we did before. Let's start with the nose. Uh, you could also use the generative fill, but um, either either. These hard lines as well, I tend to remove. I leave them in the normal map though, and the displacement. Now we can just grab some of this skin down here, just go over it. Something similar in color. And then just fade it off a bit. Something like that. Let's check out the ears. All right, we'll check that. We'll fix the yellow uh, next, but we'll just quickly check these fixes. Actually, I forgot something there. I'll fix that next. So let's look at them eyes. Yeah, that's a lot better. You could darken them a bit. Um, ooh. got some stretching going on there. Something in that ear too. So all this stretching here, I'll see if the content aware fill will fix this, but it might might be confused. That's probably all right. We can duplicate this. Flip it. Try to match it. Uh, give it a mask. Use black to kind of blend it. Okay. And that head. I'll fix that. Yeah, can't see anything wrong with the ears. I'll just fix that nose, it kind of looks like she's bleeding. Couple of final touch-ups. Uh, yeah, if you wanted to darken this, I'd probably grab the clone tool and just clone it self kind of thing, like right on top of itself. And then maybe we could multiply let multiply it and adjust the levels. All 
All right, we'll check that out. All right, let's see if the eyes look any better. Yeah, let's see if that neck's fixed. Mm. Not really. All right, I'll just fast forward this. I'm just gonna fix the neck. Okay, one thing that was a little confusing was the bump map. Um, it kept showing me them zigzags. So that looks better. I just don't like these pink bits. But what we'll do is get rid of the yellow and see if that helps blend it. I'd also like some of these wrinkles back, but uh, let's give this a shot. Selective colors, good. Choose yellow and just take it out. Take it, take a bunch of it out, and then balance it. You do want yellow in it, but um, not that much. All right, something that looks healthy. So this is before and after. See, that is just deathly yellow. Now it's too magenta -y. All right, something like that. Might try another... Um, Content aware feel just to see if I can just get something in here that looks a little better. Uh, did some weird stuff, so I might just do one side at a time. Okay, lastly, let's just merge them. On this mask, I would remove the bottom area of the selective color, just so it still blends with the body. And that's not the yellow bit anyway, the yellow bit's up here. Oh, that didn't do anything. Yeah, the yellow bit's up here, so I would... Oh, it is a bit yellow, but... Let's kind of do something like that. We could probably introduce just a little bit more yellow. Just a tad, something like that. Let's give it a go.
Yeah. Yeah, it's way better. The neck needs work, but I'm not gonna bore you with that. We'll move on to the normal map and the displacement map. Okay, now we use the heads that we created earlier. Bring in the uh, source mesh. This is just to line up the high res mesh to make sure it's perfectly in line so we can project. So here's the low res, even though it's not quite low. Let's call it low res. So yeah, that's a source mesh, which we'll call low res, and we'll bring in the high res. This low res was the one we brought into Character Creator. It was just temporary, which is the same as this, but this one's aligned perfectly with the refined mesh. Okay, here's the high res, which is all the way down there. This is just for sanity check. Uh, but yeah, we have to bring this up to 100, and yeah, should be perfect. So we can delete the low res, freeze the transforms, so it goes to zero, I mean one, and just delete history. Just so it's clean. Yes. Now, we'll start with the normal. Uh, I prefer X normal. I think it does a better job than ZBrush. From my experience. Okay, bring in the higher res. Bring in the refine mesh which is the new character created one baking options we just change it to the correct folder and name just a normal map and these settings seem to work Alright, let's have a quick look at that. So if you remember, she had very high muscles. So let's see how that works. Because now she doesn't. Yeah, so it kind of, I mean, I think it looks fine. It's probably something I would paint out. Other than that, uh, it looks, looks pretty nice. Let's just quickly check that out. Uh, there's also some issues we need to clean up. Again, I'll fast forward. This is just going to be content aware feel again. Just getting rid of these lines. Now, 
In this case, the ears aren't too bad. Usually you get some artifacting, but uh, this one's pretty good. Okay, I'm going to attempt to paint out these muscles slightly. I'm not sure how this is going to work. Let's keep an eye on that. Yeah, it's better. <laughs> Except this. I'm just going to try and take this base color and just blend it like that. We'll see if that works. Looks pretty good. You would obviously do, you know, f um, a lot of work on the body skin, which you would add normals to, which would blend in a lot better. You'd give it old skin and everything. Um, so just as a starting point, I think this is pretty good. You can also see the roughness, which you would uh, blend as well just like we did with the normal but that's all the fine details so we'll move on to displacement I don't know if that's shadow or what. Let me just quickly change the lighting. Okay. That is strange. I'm going to bring it into Houdini after for a quick render as well. So we'll get final final tests there it's never seen that before there let me try a different lighting she looks kind of scary okay no it looks fine <laughs> that is nightmarish Uh, one other little tip before we move on, which I always found handy, if you select her, just her whole body, sometimes the cover of her eyeballs, whatever that's called, it moves around. Like sometimes it's up here and you're like, what is that dark circular thing or wherever? So they got this button, which always helps if you just fix eye alignment and it, yeah. Just a handy tip. Okay, lastly, let's get this done. Displacement. Bring in the refine mesh. All 
right, choose a new empty object and bring in the high res. What we want to do is go to our refine mesh, append the high res, and now we want to project object. So make sure the refine mesh is selected. Divide it once. Go to project. These settings seem to work. Get a project all. No, it is just asking about poly paint, whatever. So project all. Divide again. Project all. No again. Divide again. Project all. Again. And so it's going to have this muscle issue again, probably. Uh, we export as subdiv 6, so this is the last one. Okay, turn that off. Ooh, yeah, we got some issues. I've never encountered issues like this either, which is a real pain, but um, is what it is. Other than that, the details look excellent. All this I, I just clean up in Photoshop because I don't need the models. <clears throat> so we can delete the higher res with this one selected. Go to Subdiv 1, Plugins. Um, Multi-map exporter, displacement, 4K, subdiv 1, all those settings look fine. Alright, let's see how this goes. Put it in your folder. All right, get rid of that. Let's rename this. Don't know why I added that again, but okay. So you can obviously see where the issues are. Sm start with the small ones. With the displacement, I'd prefer to make sure all the edges are smoothed, whatever I create. So if I do this and this, I just want to make sure it looks fine, but because displacements have so much information in them, just kind of like feather off the edges. Okay, for the neck, I would just clone this chunk. Let's find a similar bit, even grab that. Okay, 
and uh, in that. And then just try and blend it in. Should be alright. Same thing here, I guess. And we got this ridiculous one. Um, Try and blend the edge in. It's kind of like the same as the normal map. So yeah, the displacement isn't very accurate in here, but at least we'll get a quick look. Yeah, you won't see too much in here, just puff it up. But one thing you will notice is this line. So if you get a body, because there's no displacement on the body, I tend to create these empty body flat displacement. I'll copy that over which all it is is just the flat gray it's the happy medium or whatever um, I believe it's this gray that comes out of ZBrush but if we put that on here There's a difference in, if I delete the roughness, oh, that's for the body. Um, all right, delete for the body and the head, just to make sure. It's like a texture difference. Okay, it is the normals. Again, the normals need to be blended a bit better. But that's fine. But yeah, once you blend the body in with old skin as well, you need some pretty creepy stuff. And save her in a custom. I select a save. Head female twenty-four. So then it's saved there, and you can continue tweaking her, or you can just leave it like that, and that's a template, and you can keep creating uh, more and more of them. So lastly, I'm going to just test it in Houdini. So just a quick note, um, just because I'm testing it uh, in Houdini, you'll notice the UVs are laid out in Udoms. So when we grab the textures, you get arm, leg, tongue, body, head, so you'll just have to rename them like head will be dot one zero zero one body will be dot one zero zero two and so forth so when we bring in the textures it'll be all in one shader just as an udom so i'm just 
uh, I'm not going to show you all this. I just wanted you to know how the UVs are set up. Okay, so here's how I named it for this temporary test. It's just female 24 AO and corresponding with the UDOMs, I said 1001, 1002, yada, yada, yada. And then base, color, they just have to be all named the same. Uh, like female 24, then the type of map, and then the number. If I'm sure you already know this, but anyway. So, I will set this up. At the moment, it's only uh, the texture image. I just wanted to make sure it worked. Uh, this is a component builder. It's just been customized. So I'll enable subdivision as well uh, for the di displacement. So you can see the UDMs are working anyway. There's no seams. There will be seams because of the difference in roughness in that. But uh, anyway, let's... I'll just quickly build this and I'm just using a HDRI. Just find a better, better angle. That should work because we need to see the subsurface scatter. So something like that. I'm sure you, if you already know or don't care about this, you could just skip this. But, um, all right, so we got, we'll call that base color. Change this to a float. This will be your roughness. We will also need Capacity for the eye eyelashes. Need a normal map and displacement. All right, let's start with roughness. Roughness has to be a float, so does opacity. Normal has to be vector three or four. And displacement's a float. So now they're showing up as uh, Udoms. Roughness. That's uh, off. That's a normal issue. Let's uh, fix that first. There we go. We'll get these eyelashes fixed. So yeah, all I did was just make white. Udoms for the rest of the body and the eyelashes is the only one that has uh, any black so there's the eyelashes just so we can see displacement I'm going to remove normal and color and um Uh, I was wondering what was happening. Um, yeah, so that's the beautiful displacement. There's two things here. Either it's just too much. Not look 
Can the greatest. Yeah, it can either be this was too high or maybe it needs a range, which I don't think it does. But if you sometimes you'd need to do minus zero point five to zero point five. It did need the range, so negative 0 0.5 to 0 0.5. This happens in most software. I see it in uh, with Arnold in Maya and um, not sure about Blender how that works, but, but that looks pretty good. And what, so 0 0.1, I think that's about right. So we're getting the neck detail, which is awesome. Let's add our normal map back. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's looking old. So yeah, there is, there's a ton of detail in there. Um... This is why it's good to bring it into a rendering software. You start seeing stuff like that, which is obviously uh, the displacement. I'm guessing it's uh, where that meets up. But anyway, uh, let's check on the skin. All right, she's starting to get there. You can use the AO if you wanted, I don't, but you would multiply. Grab that. You would multiply the skin over it. Not sure if we'll see much difference there, but yeah, no, maybe it helps. I'd say she's a bit shiny too, but let's focus on the subsurface. Uh, it's taken a little bit because each time I plug it in, it has to create a new uh, rat file. Alright. Probably get zero point one. We'll try changing this um radius. looking pretty nice. I'll change the light to um, be behind the ear. And I'd probably just add some yellow. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. It's, it's probably still a bit too much 
bleeding happening. Uh, I'd probably just drop it back from 0 0.2 to back to 0 0.1 when I had it. But uh, it's pretty cool. The last thing I would do, it just depends if you want it that shiny. It kind of looks like she's just putting moisturizer on. So yeah, they are a bit less shiny. It'll still be shinier on the lips and forehead because of the map. But yeah, it just depends what you want. Okay, I'll try 2.5. Okay, that's pretty awesome. One last thing, just for the hell of it. I'll try a different map. This one's pretty warm, I think. It's, yeah. Looks nice. And, uh, I'm not sure how, if you care, but what I would do lastly, because this is a template to make it easier. All I have to do is plug in the FBX file and then it'll transform it correct, it'll center it, it'll clean up all the attributes, rest, and delete any points. And then, you know, I can just do that every time with each character. And if you get a layout asset gallery, Okay, these are all Acticore characters set up. But we'll delete that, make sure this is saved. And then, um, this obviously still needs a lot more work. But this is gonna save a a um, USD file with the material, the GA and the payload and this pointer file and now what you can do is generate a thumbnail it'll render using whatever HDR you have plugged in Give you a nice little thumbnail. Um, I would just write maybe scan character. Which I probably should have done before I saved, but um, yeah, just as a test. Yeah, add asset, add uh, character that to asset. And just like that, you can build a whole ton of these. Now you can just drag it straight in. Now have everything ready to go. Pretty handy, and then you just bring in your animation uh, which is a whole nother process, but as long as it's named the same in here, has to have the same structure, it'll overwrite uh, the USD data. So yeah.